Okay, in this video, I'll be talking about the sine wave in Unity. Now, the sine wave is really powerful in Unity because it allows you to do things pretty much in like a random kind of curve pattern, kind of like a heartbeat. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a real basic example and how you could use it to scale this sphere up and down. So I already have the script open in Visual Studio, and I'm just going to create a public public float and just call it something like sine amount like that. And I'll actually make this a function, which means we'll have to return something. So I'm just going to right now make it return return mathf dot sign s i n like that, and then we can pass in time time dot time like that, and then you can multiply it by like whatever value you want. So like that, and then in our update function, we can just say transform dot scale dot local scale is equal to new vector 3 and then we just do sign amount sign amount and then sign amount just like that and then if we go into unity and then apply the script to the sphere then click play we should see it actually do something if it's scaling up and down and this 5 right here is how fast it should go so i can just actually expose a property up here a variable just call it like public float speed like that and then we just multiply by the speed so i'm doing this just to show you that that does it increase the speed so right now it's zero which means it shouldn't do anything yep and as we increase it the speed is getting increased and you could set this to like 100 and it just my frame rate isn't fast enough so apologies okay so there was also one more thing we can multiply it by, and we multiply it by the magnitude. So I'm just going to go up here and create another public float and call it magnitude, like that. And then we multiply the math function by the magnitude, like that. And then this magnitude will pretty much dictate how far the sine wave actually goes. So I can save that, and by zero, it's going to scale up to zero but the greater we increase this we should see the sine wave getting larger and I also have to set the time I guess we can see the sphere getting really large and really small all right and now this also works for positioning so we can do transform dot position is equal to a new vector three just pass in sine amount sine amount and then the sine amount like that and then close that off head back into unity let it compile, and then for some reason Unity exited. Okay, so I can just do a speed of like 2, and then a magnitude of 1, just by default. And then we should see it's changing scale and moving, based on the sine wave we gave it. So I can increase this magnitude, and it will increase the scale and the distance traveled. And I can also increase the speed to just like, say, 8, and we can see the speed has been changed. Alright, so if you found this video informative or helpful, then subscribe and leave a like. I'll be making more Unity videos in the future. But that is all from me for now. Fun Uber, out.